hey guys welcome back to another video and uh today we are doing a meal prep so i'm making meatballs uh sweet and sour chicken um stir fried beef i also marinated chicken to cook for dinner uh but first i'm also going to start with my son's uh lunch so i'm making for him chicken this is boneless chicken thighs and i want to make it with a bit of stir fry so i'll just add uh, chicken in it so this is me uh, just showing you guys how I prepped first uh, put all my spices that I'll need all my veggies that I'll need this is ginger and garlic mixed and I was also watching pretty woman on Netflix as I did this so the reason I'm actually um, doing a meal prep is because the nanny that I had gotten uh, had to leave and go back to, had to leave and go home because her son was sick so uh, I was left alone with my baby so I needed to do a meal prep for the next three three to four days three days uh, until the weekend so i decided to just uh, cook at least the meat uh, you know starch is very easy to cook and my son's meals are also very uh, easy to cook so this is the stir fry that i was telling you guys um, i added potatoes and then when it was done I, I just cooked it with olive oil i didn't add anything to it same to the chicken i just added a bit of salt to it so um so next i move to marinating the boneless chicken thighs so i'm adding ginger and garlic pink salt uh, garlic powder black pepper chicken masala oregano paprika and lime you'll see me adding all those and i'm just swinging it here um i don't use measurements when it comes uh, to spices uh so i'm just i'm actually very glad that i filmed this process because this chicken turned out to be really 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 amazing and to be honest i wouldn't have remembered what i added in the chicken in the first place so i'm really glad i actually um filmed this part of how i marinated this chicken because i would love to make it again so i just covered it with cling film and put it back to the fridge because i was intending to cook it the next day for dinner not today So next I move to marinating the beef fry. This is actually a T-bone steak that I cut into strips. I find it way sweeter than just the usual steak. So I'm marinating it with pink salt, black pepper, oregano, and the new Rico spice that I got. Um, I think it's for dry fry beef or something or wet fry beef. So that's what I used to marinate the, the beef and this was really, really sweet next i move to the chicken for the sweet and sour chicken i'm using pink salt paprika garlic powder and i also added a bit of chicken masala i do want to over marinate this because i'm in the end i'm going to add a sweet and sour sauce so i didn't want it to be over spiced I also added raw garlic and ginger into the chicken there's something about just adding garlic and ginger into chicken while marinating it that just makes it uh, taste really amazing so I'm just finishing up on my son's lunch I was actually in the middle of a meeting while I was doing all this so next I move to uh, slicing white onions that I'm going to use for the sweet and sour chicken you can use red I don't know why I opted for white uh, but I just opted for white and also you may also notice that i'm not using any tomatoes in my meal prep today because um again like i said this is food that's supposed to last us for three to four days so i didn't want it to go bad at any one point so i opted to use sauces than uh, using tomato 
so apart from white onions in the sweet and sour chicken i'm also adding some um, red pepper and yellow pepper i didn't have any green pepper today so i just added only these two if i had a I would have added it <laughs> here where that one had refused to come out I would have added it here so I just went with red and yellow so imagine it's that simple it's just um, white onion um, the marinated chicken then sweet and um, sorry red and yellow uh, pepper and then you add the sweet and sour sauce i usually uh, see some people making the sweet and sour sauce from scratch but um i was running out of time i wanted to be finished with this in like two hours so i opted to buy one from kafo and i'll show you guys the the brand that i went with we've always been using this sweet and sour sauce in our house so I really really love it um so i'm using one of my rosetti pans and it just hit me that i've never removed my wok pan from the oven i don't know if you guys remember me mentioning that in my previous videos so it's still in the oven with uh, oil that is used to make uh, fries so i've never removed it and i was in no mood to start to emptying it now and uh washing it so i went to the deep pan so but i i really need to go back to rosetti and get more of these pans because i actually prefer cooking with deep pans than with cooking pots themselves so i may go back to rosetti and get more of this because i want to cook more and more <laughs> in this house so yeah um i was just finishing up on my son's meal he really loved it i was actually a bit skeptical that he wouldn't like it but he really really loved the stir fried chicken that i made for him plus potatoes <laughs> yeah so next i'm moving to the stir fry beef and i'm just adding red onions then the beef uh, once the onions are cooked i'll add the beef inside and then add um let the beef first cook on its own for a few minutes then add water and then i'll move it to the cooker on the far end so that it can just slow cook and um be out of the way because i wanted to put meatballs on that cooker the cooking pot that i'm using is actually also from rosetti it's the scratch safe ones the one you can even use a metal spoon and it won't scratch they are expensive <laughs> they are actually expensive i think i have like three of these uh yeah three of them and a pan the pan that i was using to make chicken is also the same but i want to go for the deep fry pans like i mentioned so in the other cooker um, i want to start on my meatballs and i'm just uh, cooking them with oil first so that they don't come apart while i'm making while i'm actually cooking them uh the mistake i made this time is i removed them too early i should have made i should have left them stay in the pan for a while because i ended up adding water to the to the when i was cooking them I ended up adding water so that they can cook inside really really well but it's still this they still came out tasting amazing so in the same pan that i removed the chicken that i was cooking i'm adding in the white onions then the peppers then i add in the chicken and then the sweet and sour uh, sweet and sour cooking sauce and i'll be done with the sweet and sour chicken
Um, the other thing I wish I had gotten was roasted cashew nuts. If I had roasted cashew nuts, I would have added it into the sweet and sour chicken. It would have been just awesome. It would have made this meal 10 times better. So if you have cashew nuts, add them here. Plus, don't forget green peppers. Uh, you can also add, the, add them here. So this is the sweet and sour sauce that I was telling you guys. I got it from Carrefour and I used the entire container because the chicken that I was cooking was a lot. But then these were four chicken breasts. Yeah, these are four chicken breasts and I ended up serving them with um, rice, with coconut rice and it was amazing. The other thing I wish I made was cold slow because that one would have even slapped more. <laughs> but I didn't have time to make all that but I ended up serving this with coconut rice. So I'm done at least with one meal and that is a sweet and sour chicken and I'm just putting it in my glass container so that I can put it in the fridge later on. So I'm just going to let it cool here for a bit. Next uh, I'm making the meatballs and this time um, as you can see I chopped the onions a bit differently. I chopped them into the small uh, boxed ones is that what they're called yeah the small <laughs> yeah um so i'm just adding um onions then i add the garlic and ginger last time i didn't have garlic and ginger to cook the meatballs so this time um i made sure i make them with garlic and ginger so while the onions are, are cooking i'm making the sauce for the meatballs so i'm just using barbecue sauce and ketchup so i'm just mixing it to get it right fast in a bowl outside instead of putting it directly in the cooking pot while cooking so I'll first mix it in a bowl um, so that I can just get the ratios perfect before using it so if you don't want to use sauce you can use tomatoes if you want to make it um, wet fry basically if you want it to have a bit of soup but for me I didn't want to have it with soup because I knew I'll serve this with either potato wedges or fries I ended up serving it with fries and it was really really amazing so to the onions I'm just adding garlic and ginger then I put the meatballs in and then I like I said I ended up um, adding water you can see I don't know if you can see me like slicing one meatball and it's red inside so I ended up adding water so that it can cook properly the good thing is that they had already hardened so um, they won't come apart when you do this in case they didn't cook well or you just want to make sure they cook really really well there's no harm in adding water for them to cook well So in the other cooker, I'm finishing up on my stir fry beef. I also didn't want to buy a whole broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, gorgets and come and start doing the prep work. <laughs> so I just bought the already mixed one in um, that they usually sell at Kafo. So I just washed them and added it to my stir fry beef. So this one we ended up also serving it with rice and we had it also with meatballs on the side and it was woo, amazing. So I'm adding a bit of raiko so that it can have just a bit of soup to it and that was it for the stir fried beef. 
so while all that is cooking i'm just clearing up the kitchen the counter putting things back to where they're supposed to be and i actually realized that my kitchen um there's so much i don't have in this kitchen and i remember watching yvonne kendi's video and she was saying the way china square has amazing kitchen stuff and i think i'll have to go there next week so that i can just get some things that i need for the kitchen I also wanted to bake but i didn't have like the measuring cups for baking King. i need more i've written a whole list of things that i need in this kitchen <laughs> i also need like new containers to put my cereals in because the ones that i have either the lids are broken yani when your nanny goes is when you discover the majabu that happens in your kitchen <laughs> so i just wrote down at least i I've also realized like my knives are you know worn out i need new knives i need need more cutting boards like i said i need pans i need i just need um some stuff so i may go uh, i may go to china square to do like a kitchen um shopping for some things as you can see i'm also um adding my stuff right to a glass container and just putting it on the side to cool a bit before i put them in the fridge so once my meatballs are done i just added the salt and i didn't leave it to cook actually for long um so the sauce i just added it the last last minute i started the sauce with the meatballs and i just i was done with this so um, i ended up i ended up loving this version of cooking meatballs on the other one i used to pick like two or three have them for a snack or just pick like two or three and have it for uh, with my breakfast um really loved the way um this meatball standard actually loved the way all the food started <laughs> turned out in the end so this time i'm really excited about this meal prep because i have a very reliable fridge and that is a samsung bespoke fridge and the thing i love about it is it um keeps your food at optimum temperature hence it stays fresh for longer so i have no fear of restocking my fridge with groceries with meal prep food because i know they'll stay fresh for long so personally i converted mine to be a fridge entirely but you can also use yours as a freezer so it can be half fridge half freezer and it has the no frost technology that way uh, you won't have any build up of ice inside it also has the power freeze uh, option which blows intense cold air into the fridge to quickly cool your groceries or your favorite drinks or whatever you put inside the fridge so i really really love this fridge a lot um basically i just restock my fridge with no fear at all of my groceries going bad So the next day we divided and conquered with my hubby he, he took my son to the hospital for his cholera vaccine and they stayed behind to clean the house because the house was a huge mess so i'm just outside clearing the space because um i know we'll be back here to eat dinner we were here almost um the entire morning just playing and eating and um the doll you see on the table is not my son's it's my neighbor's daughter so before you comment on that so i'm also um tidying up the living room room because i know he'll come back to make another mess here so i'm just tidying up the couch then i wipe down the table the tv uh the tv stand the console and then vacuum the carpet and then mop the floors so my son is at that stage where he just when you give him like a snack like an apple slice or a banana to eat he'll throw it on the floor first and then now pick it to eat i don't know what craziness this is as in um, i was not prepared for this honestly but um that's how he eats these days when you give him like a light snack to snack on so the house the carpets have to be vacuumed every day and the house has to be mopped every single day with the bleach so um we hadn't done that in the morning so i decided to stay behind my hubby can deal with him in the hospital alone plus he was just going for one vaccine so he's used to it um to taking him to places alone that's what 
so i started with the common areas that's the living room and the dining then i finished up with the kitchen um because i knew by the time i was done here they'll be back and i wanted the, uh, to have cleared this entire area so when i'm doing light cleanings i usually just wet my microfiber cloth with a bit of water and um the antibacterial morning fresh liquid uh, soap so i just use the same cloth to just wipe out surfaces around the house and then i moved to the kitchen the only area i never uh, got to was my room my room looks like a tornado passed through it but that one i'll deal with it next week when my nanny comes back So moving to the kitchen i've been piling up dirty dishes in the sink the whole day so i wanted to sort them out so i can start cleaning i was just soaking up dishes and uh you know <laughs> just stocking them up in the sink while we are here i wanted to inquire from you guys when do you stop using different dish soap and dish uh, sponges and dish rack for your kid as in at what age does it get that you just use the same dish soap and sponge as um, same as the rest of the house because i'm honestly tired of this um washing dishes in two parts i first wash ours then his then put them in a different dish rack uh, which is occupying more space in the kitchen even and then i also have to the only thing that i won't stop is sterilizing his milk bottles um those ones i think will just continue for a while but i want to move him we've already moved him to sippy cups so the only times he, he uses the milk bottles is when he's taking uh, milk and he's about to sleep so that's the only time so i just wanted to know when do you stop <laughs> you know using different uh dish soap for your kids because um i think it's already it's okay now because um he's now having his food with uh what is it called cooking oil with a bit of salty and there the only thing we've not introduced him to is sugar and i don't think you're going to introduce him to sugar anytime soon <laughs> <laughs> so we're just adding a bit of salt to his food and uh, a bit of yeah uh cooking oil olive oil to his food so i don't know at what point that stops so please let me know because i would really love to stop now
so while i was doing the dishes i actually broke one of my nails and uh, on the right hand and it was extremely painful because it broke right in the middle of the nail plate and it was it became too difficult for me to do any chores so i had to go and cut it and since i couldn't leave the house because i don't have a nanny uh, i decided to call my sister my sister has a nail business by the way it's called uncut nails and i called her to just come and fix uh, my nails i show you guys at the end of the video i had to cut them all because now i can't do any housework with um long nails so i had to cut them in the end but that was really really painful for me you'll see i think at some point in the nursery the nail that actually broke so and i know lux had closed for the holidays so there's no way i could have got an appointment either way i couldn't leave the house so i had to call them they her nail, her nail business is just for house calls by the way um so this was this week's bouquet of flowers that i got from calyx flowers i forgot to take a video of them while they were still fresh so i'm just going to change the water on the pot one on the vase one last time and i think i'll just um dispose of them the next day but they were they were still a bit fresh so i didn't throw them out i just changed the water so i'm just wiping down all my counters with the astonish antibacterial surface cleaner then wipe down the cooker then move to the floors that done the last thing i did for the day was uh, fold my son's laundry and i was left with a very huge load of laundry uh, by the nanny that i was telling you guys about so i had a lot of clothes to fold and funny enough it didn't take a lot of time i think i was just here for like 20 minutes 15 20 minutes and i was done is um the thing i realized with um your like laundry for your kids just have a place for everything have a place where everything goes and it makes work so much easier so you also see like i have a, also another huge load of laundry on the floor to deal with so i just let that one first build up a bit then uh, i did the laundry later on so the other thing i did in the nursery was just to disinfect the top of the chest of drawers because we use that space a lot so i just uh, disinfected it with a bit of surgical spirit wiped down the space and i was done with this area like i say my day bag is still coming um her usual days in the week so she does the deep cleaning for me and i do the rest
so for dinner i'm cooking the chicken that i had marinated yesterday so i'm adding i'm adding all of it to the oven like i usually do i think most of you know by now um this recipe but today I made it a bit different so i just added potato wedges and then the um peppers white onion and the sweet corn i marinated it with a bit of olive oil paprika um oregano and black pepper um so i'm just putting everything in the same what is it called the same tray to put in the oven so you want to make sure especially the potatoes are well spread and i didn't add any oil to the potatoes because i knew the veggies had a bit of oil plus the chicken that i'm going to put on top has its own oil so i didn't want the food to be too oily so i didn't put any potato on any oil on the potatoes so once i'm done with uh, adding the veggies on top i added the chicken on top and put it in the oven i first preheat the oven at uh, for 10 minutes at um is it 190 yeah 190 uh degrees i didn't yeah 190 and then um i cooked it for 45 minutes and that was it our dinner was ready you'll see me at some point pulling the tray from the oven with my bare hands uh, it had already cooled guys i was not pulling it while it was hot uh, for you guys to see the end result but this meal was amazing i'm so glad i filmed how i marinated this chicken <laughs> plus also the veggies on how i marinated it because i will cook it again very soon So like I said earlier, um, I had to call Anka to come and fix me nails. So we had to cut them short. For the one that had broken, we just added build-up gel on top to make it stronger. Because you couldn't cut it. It's literally the middle of the nail plate. You can't cut it there. Otherwise, you may get an infection. So we added build-up gel on top just to make the gel uh, stay stronger. And then uh, we went with a metallic uh, pink nail polish with glitters it turned out really 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 cute loved it so now uh, my nails are short enough for me to do house chores <laughs> so in case you're indoors and you can't leave to get to go get your nails done i highly recommend uncut nails they'll come and get um the job done for you at the comfort of the of your house so this nail polish is actually magnetic i've never done a magnetic look and it turned out really really cute so i will link her page in the description box down below and her number in case you want to book an appointment they'll just come to you of course you'll have to cater for the um transport cost uh, that's what happens with house services there's always a transportation fees but it's worthwhile when you can't leave the house and you have to get your nails done so you can see how cute they turned out really love this set so i just want to wish you all a happy new year and thank you thank you so much for watching my videos i'll talk to you guys in my next video